Frank, welcome yes. to our gal. Thank uh, you. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah. I'm over the moon to be fair. Happy that things have got sorted out quite early in this in this lockdown period. Um, yeah, just really looking forward to, to playing football now. Well, you say early in the lockdown period, but obviously for yourself, it's been quite an interesting yeah. situation. I think you were told at Colchester yeah. before you played the playoffs that yeah. you were not going to get a new deal. Is that right? And yeah, then, correct. Yeah. Then obviously you've had the sort of extended summer break with no football. How's that been for you? It's been hard. Listen, every every walk of life has been troubled by this, these times. So, you know, as a footballer, it's quite hard not to have that normal routine of a pre-season, you know, a few weeks into it and then, you, you know, you go and play the season. So, everything's been up in the air. But for me personally, I'm just happy that I'm, I'm now here and I can, you know, do what I can for the, the Argyle fans and obviously work with my teammates and do well. Tell us how the uh, the move came about. Yeah, it was, well, it was, it was quite, it moved quite fast in the end, but um, obviously as a player, when you're free agent, you're just sitting by your phone, hopefully it rings, you get a text and, you know, someone's interested. But the minute I heard that there was a chance that this could happen, yeah, it was, it was just trying to get it done, really, just by the style of football that I've seen being played at this club. And, you know, what the manager's done in the, in the last two years is really appealing to me, so I feel like I can benefit from that. Was that kind of the, the, the main reason for you to choose Argyle? What, I, I guess... From the outside, I think you, you said to us before that you played down here once and it was last yeah, season. Yeah. What did you kind of know about the club before you signed for it? Um, in general terms, you, just, you know the size of the club is big, the, the fan base, a lot, brilliant. And uh, I think that in itself won me over, if I'm being honest. Just looking, I'm a bit busy, so I might look at a, a page on Twitter or something like that and compare it to other teams, just to follow it. And you can see that as well is well followed. So uh, I've always liked to embrace myself with the fans anyway. So wherever I've been, I feel like I've had a good relationship with them, and hopefully that can be the same. Obviously, um, I think we won the game against Colchester at home park one yes. 0 and, yeah. and Colchester games are pretty handy. Yeah, beating up there, you had a very influential game. Do you think yeah. that, that was part part of the reason that, that yeah. the manager wanted to bring you in? Oh, listen, I don't know. Listen, you try you try to do your best wherever you are. We came here. And uh, yeah, we got beat 2-1, I think the score was. And, uh, it, was it was a convincing win by the home side. We returned the favour, of course, come back to our gaff. So we, we looked after you there. But I, I, played well, I played well in both games. But you just try to just impose yourself. I'm a player that imposes myself in most games I play, hopefully. So if that had a lasting effect on the manager here, that's brilliant for me. And hopefully I can you know, do that now in the Argo show. And I was going to ask you actually, um, for supporters who maybe aren't so familiar with your career, what yeah. do you think that you bring to teams? Um, I think I bring experience. Um, you know, I, I think I've played every level, actually, just thinking about it now. Yeah, yeah, I've played, yeah, I've played every level. So for me, it's just trying to bring that experience and you know, just my ability. I think I might be a different player to maybe some players here already. Uh, so I'll just try to bring that physical aspect and also be able to go for it at all times. And obviously, you mentioned the, the size of the fan base being one of the, the things that attracted you to coming here. Yeah. But obviously, we're looking at the start of the season possibly not being able to play in front of supporters. I wonder yeah. on the day that you signed for us whether you have a message for them. Well, first of all, it's, it's, it's devastating that they can't be here. I think I said it to you earlier. Yeah, it was a main draw to come here. So, listen, we, all we can do is just do the best we can behind the closed doors until they can come in the door and see us live. So hopefully they can enjoy us behind closed doors. But at the same time, once they're here, I'm sure we can build that connection that I'm sure the club and the boys have had over the with the last season for sure and momentum is a powerful thing I want to join that so hopefully I can be part of that and a successful year well good luck yeah thank you very much